When installing a Samsung Mini Split system, it's important to know both the power and communication wiring requirements. The first thing that I want to let you know is that you will need to provide power from the main power supply to a disconnect to the outdoor unit. Then from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit, you will need to provide 14 gauge three conductor wire to power up the indoor unit. That would be an L1, an L2, and a ground connection. You will then need to provide 16-2 stranded shielded cable to run from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit to serve as your communication line. An advantage that you can do is you can purchase the line set from Samsung. By doing so, you'll see the part number, you'll see that you have a quarter and a three-eighths line that's got half-inch insulation on it, and it comes with the wire that you need. Let's take a look at this line set and the associated power and communication cables. You have the two different lines here, both come with half-inch insulation on them. The flare nuts are there, and they're capped so that they're pressurized and free of any moisture before you install them. Now when you use the Samsung line set, you're also going to get the same length of power wire as the length of the line set. So this is a 50-foot line set. You're going to get 50 feet of 14 three-conductor wire in a sealed conduit. Again, this is going to be used to power up the indoor unit from the outdoor unit. You're going to have three conductors, an L1, an L2, and then a ground. You will ground the conductor at the indoor and the outdoor unit. You also need the communication cable. And again, with Samsung line sets, it's included. You have a 16-gauge, two-wire conductor with a shield to be grounded. This wire comes with the line set. You'll simply connect the two wires and the shielded connector at the outdoor unit making sure that they are at least two inches apart from the high voltage wire so we don't have any communication issues. You'll ground the shielded cable at the outdoor unit and then you'll connect the other two ends of the cable at the indoor unit. This time you will not connect the ground. You'll simply take the shielded cable, cut it off and tape it back so that there's no interference, being sure to ground the communication cable at only one end. The line set that you can get will come provided with these wires and it will make the installation easier and a simpler process. Thank you. For service manuals and other documentation, please visit our website at samsunghvac.com or use our Samsung HVAC mobile app to download any technical documentation. Thank you.